beginning to feel like the only person in the world who thought it sucked. Oh. You are the only person in the world who thought it sucked. <laughs> but you're right, it didn't make sense. It made dollars. Hey everyone, let's talk about Ghostbusters. So, Ghostbusters, we got this brand new movie that's coming out very shortly. But here's like something they could have done that actually would be cool. Now, one thing you should notice is that even though there is technically crossing of the streams, ha, nice little innuendo there, a nice little nod. But anyways, you can see that TV is basically adapting movies, while in Hollywood, they're adapting TV shows into movies. So it's like a nice little trade-off. Now, one TV show for Ghostbusters that they could actually adapt to a movie, which actually would be interesting to see, is Extreme Ghostbusters. And Extreme Ghostbusters actually showed up in 1997, if I remember correctly. So the good news, bad news about this one. The good news is that you have brand new Ghostbusters. It's been years since Ghostbusters existed. So it makes sense because, well, there hasn't been a Ghostbusters movie since the second one. So it's a good time to actually say, hey, this will be something cool to do. It will be awesome. The only messed up part is the fact of the Ghostbuster that actually still in there that would be in continuity for this yeah, movie to work. He actually died. Yeah, that's kind of sad. The person who would be the essential mentor of the Ghostbusters, he died. And without him, sadly, this story would not be exactly the same as you would see in a TV show, which is kind of sad. Anyways, in the TV show Extreme Ghostbusters, you have four new Ghostbusters who got abducted. And what's even crazier is that, ooh, that would be cool. The fact of they actually start with the first episode and then skip to the second and third ones. Oh, yeah, they have like all three episodes. Oh, no, the first one and the second one actually was the first episode. I guess it's a good idea to do that one and then maybe have a third. No, 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 it'll work. But anyway, so the new Ghostbusters, you have a golf girl. You have a girl in there this time. It's not going to be all four girls. It's just one girl. You have a black dude, you have a Latino, and you have a disabled man. Yeah, a disabled person who's in a wheelchair. Of course, yeah, you'd be like, oh, man, that's messed up. And so it's like, no, no, his character is still cool. Even though he's in a wheelchair, they actually made it so that he actually is an athlete. Yeah, he actually is one of those types who actually lives life to the edge. So, yeah, with that said... And, oh, yes, the black dude actually is the techie guy. He is the person who actually deals with the tech. Oh, yes, yeah, Slimer's still there. And he also would call in the receptionist from back in the day as well. She's also in the continuity as well. So, for this series, it would actually have been cool to see how this would work out, which would be very cool. The only messed up part is, like I said, sadly, the Ghostbusters that would... the actor who would star in this movie and be the head mentor he died a few years ago which is truly sad and that means that yeah this crumbles apart very very fast but of course if he was still alive this movie would be a good go ahead to say yeah definitely do it so yeah this i'm watching the series right now extreme ghostbusters and it's very good it's very interesting and all that let me just, because it doesn't like to stay paused or it's going to exit out. But anyways, yeah, that would have been cool to do. Let me talk about the second thing. Second topic is the, go the, the Ghostbusters video game. I bet chances are it's been released everywhere, but I think the Wii version is the best one because you can use the Wii mode as if you're doing the busting and maybe it works like that and if so that would be cool yeah that would be very very cool if you're able to actually use it like that the way you should if so i might actually be interested in picking it up i mean first i was like eh. but to think that it actually would work with the wiimote like that i mean even though i don't like it the mechanics actually would be cool enough to actually be like you know, this is a good one to just pop in because I'm bored. 
and you know, all that stuff. That would be cool. Well, anyways, last but not least is what happened that I learned because my mom actually watched the late night show with one of the girls actually promoting and then all that stuff. So it turns out the three Ghostbusters who are left. Thank you, Grim Reaper, for not taking the other three, even though he did take one in Zombieland. Yeah, Bill Murray got killed. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, at least the Grim Reaper kept the three. So they actually will be in the movie, but they'll be playing different characters. And it's just a big disconnect because I'm almost like, well, if they're Ghostbusters, how can there be two teams of Ghostbusters? Which is like, uh, that's, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could be two teams of Ghostbusters. I mean, why not? Yeah, one more team extra to deal with something that it could actually be a disturbance or it's two things at once. And that means that, yeah, you need more ground to cover. And instead of actually splitting the team into two, you actually will have one team go for one and the other team go to the other. So you have, like, decent reinforcements. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. I would just figure it's the idea of passing up the torch. But, of course, that wouldn't work either because guess what? There will be a Ghostbusters 3 coming very, 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 very soon. Meaning that, yeah, they can't actually do that. So this is a different continuity. So now we have two Ghostbuster continuities, which is like, eh, on oh, now. I'm like, eh. But anyways, yeah, they decided to actually have all three of them going to star in a movie. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. So they are going to be them. But then it turns out, yeah, like what Bill Murray said, because I was like, oh, so Bill Murray lied. That makes sense. He lied and covered up because, well, why would they actually have the big surprise of the Ghostbusters actually being in the movie with the new Ghostbusters? Yeah, but it turns out, yeah, they're all going to still play like some different characters. Well, as long as they play subtle, as long as they're subtle with it, I think it'll be fine. But if they don't actually be subtle with it, then it's like, yeah, you guys really going to piss off a lot of freaking fans, a lot of fans. The only way how to actually make this work is if they have like a small cameo and sadly they're talking it up. They're talking the cameo up. You shouldn't even talk it up. What you should do is still keep it on the wraps to the point of where the movie was released. Then you'll see their cameo, which the cameo could either be where they're actually all three of them are in the street and they're about to cross and then the echo like, man, they're in a hurry. I guess they're not afraid of no ghosts, something like that, you know, or they're actually dining in the area where they're trying to get a ghost ghost and they're just dining there. The three are just dining there, enjoying themselves. And the ghost goes by and they're like, what was that? It's like, yeah, hopefully they don't cross the streams or some kind of crap, you know, like a throwaway line. That's like, ha 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 ha. But if they actually make it a big deal, if the freaking cameo is a big deal, that's when it's like, you're going to piss off a lot of fans. I'm glad to say I'm not really a fan, but me personally, I like continuity. No matter if I like it or don't like whatever topic it is, continuity still deserves to be used. I mean, I'm pro Make sure that it's continuity because I rather actually have continuity than maybe someday I have kids and then all of a sudden they watch Ghostbusters 1, 2, and then it's new Ghostbusters. And then I have to come in there because they're asking why those three who are Ghostbusters in this movie. And I have to explain they're playing as different characters. And then the big headache begins of where it's like, oh, God, here we go with the whole having to save the continuity for my dear little kid who actually likes Ghostbusters. <laughs> Freaking damn. But anyways, thank you for watching, and yeah, tell me about Ghostbusters. You're going to like the new one? I know it's a lot of big controversy, especially since they're women, but I can tell you one thing. I like the techie chick. I like her. I would actually date her. I'm a guy. What do you want from me? Have a great day.